Okay, so as we're coming closer to a year of Hasbin's pilot release, it got me thinking about the creator Vivzy Pop. And to further promote her, I'm gonna talk to y'all in her style. Oh God, I have three fingers, but I'm adorable. <laughs> okay, back to business. Now, I'm gonna be honest and say I'm not current on her or up to date and all of that. Oh, Jay Akemi, you don't keep up with Vibzy, then you're not a true fan, and you should just stop talking. I don't have to know everything to like something. Domix made a good point about it in his video, liking things. So get out of here. Shoo. Psst. Ugh. Now, to talk about Vibzy, I have to go back when I was first introduced to her, which was five years ago. When I was back in college, and, uh, was with my college sweetheart at the time. Who honestly ruined a lot of things for me. Anyway, he introduced me to Vivzy's fan animation of Die Young by Kesha. And the only real r big reason why he did is because he loved the wolf-like character that was featured in it. And from what I remember was him telling me he wanted his own furry characters to look like that or that I should try to have a similar style when I attempt to draw his characters. Uh, regardless, I can't remember, but what I do remember is having an aversion to Vivzy's content purely from my ex creating a negative association. After that, Vivzy sort of fell off the planet in my world. Don't get me wrong, I loved her animation. I became giddy when I watched Timber, but back then there was also this love-hate thing with her content. I wanted to become an animator at the time, and I grew jealous of her abilities. It honestly didn't help that whenever I animated something, I felt I was living in her shadow because my ex praised her abilities and didn't even give mine a second glance. Anyway, over the course of the next five years or so, it was my sister who reintroduced me to Vibzy with the music video of Inside of Every Demon is a Rainbow. And she had to show it to me because she knew I loved animation. And on that basis, hell yeah, I'll give it a watch. That's when I sat there like, wait, don't I remember her? Sure enough, scrolling back through her plethora of amazing content, you can imagine the shock when I realized she was the same gal who my ex showed me all those years ago. And I was going through a lot back then. So it made me happy to rediscover her content. And when the trailer Let's Misbehave came out, <laughs> whoo, <laughs> oh boy. Let's just say I became invested in her characters in this project that she's been working on. Fast forward, Pilot came out, which was nothing short of wonderful. It blew me away. And rewatching it recently, I can't believe how many people have worked on it. It's just interesting. Um. When I think about how I came to discover Vivzy and how her channel started close to the same time I even put something on mine. Sometimes I get this weird feeling of maybe that could have been me if I wasn't so caught up in the drama of my current relationship. Maybe I could have really refined my animation skills even though I know this just isn't the case. Vivzy, no doubt, had to work hard to where she is today. And to compare herself to me isn't justifiable. If anything, I wish I could sit down with her and have some nice long conversations of what was going on when she made Timber or any of her earlier work. What was her college experience like? How did all these characters manifest all that jazz? I'm just a very curious and creative individual myself, so I can't help but wonder. And if you're watching this Vibzy or anyone who has ever lent a hand to help her out, hi, hello, you're all amazing and I just felt like you should know that. Thank you for all that you do. <clears throat> well, now with that out of the way, this past July, she came up as a topic with some friends and I was introduced to these streams with one of her head cleanup artists, Ashley, and oh, poor gal. I would die too if people flirted with me like that as well. Those streams are what actually made me give the pilot another look, and I'm so glad I did. I have a greater appreciation for all the characters and attention to detail. Regardless, yes, Alistair is still my favorite, badass yet charismatically adorable. 
Um, you do realize that Alistair is Arrow Ace, and whatever you're thinking could never happen. So I'm not about to sit here and listen to another Alistair Stan ruin his image. Oh my god, just stop! I get it. He's aromantic and asexual, and no matter what I say, the moment I admit I'm an Alistair fan, people are going to think the worst of me. I don't give a flying fuck. Side tangent. I actually looked up a lot on what it means to be Arrow Ace, because I personally didn't understand it. If anything, because of the way Alistair is, I never would have taken the opportunity to read up on his side of the spectrum. At the end of the day, I like him the way he is, and whatever I want is none of your goddamn business! I myself am a huggable person, and taking some time to familiarize myself with Alistair, I had no idea that some people just don't like to be hugged. Er, well, touched, for that matter. So now I'm sitting here thinking, oh my god, what if I hug somebody and they only agreed because they were socially awkward and I totally made them uncomfortable because they don't like being touched? Spiraling thoughts aside, as much as I love and enjoy hugs, I love respect so much more. Even if I got so much as a complimentary head pat from someone like Alistair, I'd be content. I used to like Angel Dust as second, but Charlie quickly stole that spot from him. She's very relatable in my eyes, a total adorable squish who looks like she would actually kill you if you got on her bad side, which I live for. I like the idea of no matter how shitty your surroundings are or how many negative confrontations you encounter, don't let it diminish your fire or what you believe in. Charlie keeps carrying on, choosing to be positive, but she does show she can get knocked down and hurt. And I love that about her character. I would totally give her a hug. With Vaggie and Charlie's permission. Yes, of course, because respect. Long story short, Vivzy, you're such an inspiring individual and I want the best for you. I also want to thank everyone who helped her along the way. I can only imagine how it feels to risk putting something out there into the world and then seeing it being brought to life. It's one of the many reasons I still animate here and there. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing your own characters being brought to life through frames. Well, I've rambled on long enough. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, and tell me your thoughts or who your favorite Vivzy character is. Be sure to check her stuff out. Subscribe to her. It still boggles my mind. She doesn't have as many subs as I thought she would, but still... Thank you so much for watching, and remember, everybody, be awesome, be you. Akemi, out. Hold up. Did you guys see? Hear? Read? Yee! Hasman is being picked up by A24, and I'm so stoked. This is crazy, considering I just created the recordings and script a few days prior to this announcement. I'm so happy for Missy, for everyone! You're amazing! Okay, okay, back to the outro.